Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are back in Universal Studios. We are going to be heading to the park soon and visiting one of our favorite restaurants called Finnegan's Bar and Grill, located on the studio side. So we are going to take you guys along with us, show you the menu, and give you our full tour and review of the restaurant. So if you'd like to join us, let's go. Finnegan's Bar & Grill is located in Universal Studios at Universal Orlando Resort. Finnegan's is a traditional Irish-American pub that is both a lively bar and a full-service restaurant. Finnegan's also has an indoor, full-service bar that is accessible via dine-in or walk-up service. Also, be sure to check out the Finnegan's Live Music on most nights and Rosie's Irish Shop, home to Finnegan's and Irish-themed merchandise to keep the spirit going. So now, let's go check in for our reservation. Alright guys, so we have made it to Finnegan's. Just a quick reminder, the entrance right here to the far right, that's going to be just for bar seating or walk-up bar service. And then right here is where you're going to go if you actually have a reservation or want to eat. And that's where we're headed now. We do have a reservation, so if you guys know you want to eat here, I would definitely suggest making a reservation in advance just so you don't have to wait. But let's go check in for our reservation. Alright guys, so here's a quick look at the full restaurant. Straight ahead there is the walk-up bar and the table service bar that you can go to first come first serve. But we also have more seating back here as well as the kitchen right back here straight ahead and there's just additional seating in here as well. But as you can see it is a pretty big restaurant. They are pretty capable of handling large crowds so we definitely recommend eating here if you can. Alright guys, as normal, Universal does have most of their restaurants using a QR code scanning system for their menus. Finnegan's is no exception. So we're going to go over the menu right quick. Let's see what we've got. Alright, so right here we do have the appetizer. Looks like they have a cheese board. The potato and onion web, we have had that a long time ago. It is pretty good. We also have Irish loaded chips, wings, stingers. Uh, cheese dip and they also have their soups and salads here and then we have some of the favorite entrees Seth really likes the shepherd's pie and they do have traditional fish and chips and a couple of other things as well as some handhelds which are your sandwiches and burgers and they do have coke products juice and things like that as well as a drink menu which we're going to check out now all right and just as a reminder you can get all of these at the Walfoot bar as well so drinks are just what you're after you don't necessarily have to come in and sit down but it looks like we have a Finnegan's G&T prize fighter, signature cocktails as well with that G&T listed there again. And I am looking for what Seth usually gets, I think, which is here half and half. He likes to get that a lot. But as you can see, they do have the specific mixed beers. And then they do have whiskey, scotch, and bourbon. A lot of that. I didn't even know, honestly, that they had that much. But let's see what we're going to have for dinner. So Seth is going to go with the Smithwick's Ale, but I'm actually going to go with the Mummy's Revenge, which I didn't see on the cocktail menu, but it is a cocktail that they have that is themed to the Revenge of the Mummy Coaster, which is right outside. So that's what I'm going to go with. And Seth also ordered a pretzel appetizer, and I think I'm going to go with a Reuben for my entree, but you haven't quite decided what you want yet, so we'll check back with Seth in a second. And Seth has now decided he's going to go with the Shepherd's Pie, so we'll check back in once our drinks, appetizers, and our entrees get here. And also they do have live music here at Finnegan's most evenings. Uh, our friend Johnny is actually here today. It's kind of actually why we picked specifically today just so we could uh, see him and listen to his live music. But if you do want to hear some live music, be sure to make a dinner reservation. All right, so here's our three cheese pretzel. It does have Guinness in the three cheeses as well. But yeah, so it's it's really good. Uh, often I'll just come and get this with a drink. These are pretty big. But yeah. All right, our drinks have arrived. There's my Smithwick's Ale. And Courtney got the Mummy's Revenge. All right, our food has arrived. So here's my shepherd's pie with the cabbage, carrots, or they call them root vegetables here. Um, but something I've noticed, yeah, the they've sliced the carrots up and cooked them. Looks like a little different. And the cabbage has been chopped up. Normally it's in like larger pieces that's been boiled. And here's Courtney's Reuben. 
It does come with fries. Those fries are really good. And it comes with the radishes. All right, guys, and just a quick reminder, Finnegan's it does take an annual pass discount. As you can see, it took about $5.09 off of our bill. So be sure to give your server your annual pass. All right, so now that we have eaten, we're going to show you guys some of the Irish store merch. They do have some Finnegan's merch in here, so let's head inside and check it out. So naturally, they do have some Guinness merch, and it's actually Guinness branded. We actually have several of these items ourselves, like that sign there we do have in our home, um, as well as a couple of t-shirts we have. I know I've got that one and a couple of others in here, but they do have a pretty wide variety and selection. Let's see if we can find that Finnegan's merch. All right, so here it is. These haven't really changed design in a while, except that I actually have the um, shirt here in, in black as at home. We didn't bring it this week, but uh, they do have two variations, a black and a gray, as well as some hats. Seth actually has the tan one there in the middle, and they do say universal on the back as well. But I think that's really about all that they have as far as the Finnegan's merch goes, but let's check out the rest of the store. So again, just some Irish um, and, of course, green themed items as well. And they also update this every day for the countdown to St. Patrick's Day. So currently it's 243 days. All right, guys. So I wanted to give you our review of Finnegan's. So this is typically a restaurant and a stop that we probably visit at least mm -hmm. once a day. Um, if not for the walk-up bar service, we always try to eat there, you know, sit down and, and eat at least once. Yeah. Um, but I actually got the Reuben, and I haven't gotten the Reuben in a couple of trips, and I'm really wondering why, or trying to remember why, because it was delicious. Um, the sandwich itself is a pretty big sandwich, so typically I don't eat it all. So it is a lot of food along with the little wedge um, french fries, which are delicious. Typically, I get the Guinness beef stew, but I was a little bit tired and felt a little bit heat exhausted. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I went with something a little bit lighter, which was delicious, and I'm really glad that I went with it. But what did you get? I got the shepherd's pie, mm -hmm. which is what I get often there. Mm -hmm. um, it is a heavier dish, so just be warned. It's one of those that you may not want to eat if it's really hot. But or go on a roller coaster right after or true. something. <laughs> it's, but it's delicious um, every time I get it, and it's a really big portion. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with the vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, the this side, time it was yeah. like carrots and then the chopped uh, cabbage. cabbage. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked what they changed from the last time that I've got that. Uh, the carrots were a little salty for me, but I the seasoning yeah. and the flavor of the cabbage was great. What about your uh, pretzel appetizer? Oh yeah, and that's that's really good too. Sometimes uh, I, you just get that as a snack. Some yeah, days. sometimes I'll just go in and get that with a drink mm -hmm. and sit at the bar for a little bit to cool off. I just don't, I've never been like a soft pretzel kind of a person. So I had, I think one bite of it, but the, the beer cheese is pretty good. Um, but you are right. Like mm -hmm. if you try it without anything, it doesn't really do it justice as well, like pairing it with the yeah. pretzel itself. It's just not for me. It's just not something that I enjoy. So you you finish that <laughs> for us. But um, I did get the Mummy's Revenge cocktail. That is a super light cocktail. It's pretty easy to handle, especially if it's a hot day. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, that's what I went with again, just because it was hot. Um, typically, I'll go with like a Guinness or something like that. But again, I just wanted something light. But you got a the Smithwick's yeah, ale. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. That's good there. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's like a, any other red ale that I've had. Uh, but pretty, pretty simple. I like yeah. it. And if you don't finish your beer, your cocktail, whatever, just be sure to ask for a walking cup. You can transfer it right into that for um, like walking purposes. If you if you want to go back into the park, you can do that. Yeah. But we definitely recommend checking out Finnegan's regardless of if you're doing walk-up bar service or eating there. Do both definitely if you can. And try to go for definitely the atmosphere when they're doing the live music. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video, comment, let us know if you've ever eaten at Finnegan's Bar and Grill before, if you plan to in the future. And please, of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Universal content coming soon. So until next time, we, we hope to see you on the next, next adventure. adventure. Bye.